Hello, my name is Suhash Mitra and I'm from Cadence Tensilica and I'm really excited to present four demos today to you that Tensilica IP has put together and I hope you enjoy these demos. The first demo essentially is trying to showcase AI acceleration on our Tensilica IPs. Here is a demo that shows camera feed coming in through the laptop here. That camera feed basically goes in for pre-processing and after pre-processing, it goes into our Proteum Cadence platform here that's running our Tensilica IP, which has our AI accelerator built into it. This AI acceleration essentially is fundamental to give you best-in-class AI performance in terms of power and TOPS requirements. So if you look at this um, screen here, you will see basically two ML networks that are running here. One is called YOLO and it's called Super Resolution. So basically the way it works is that after a picture frame comes in, the first thing happens is that the objects inside the frame are actually detected. Then, after the, frame has been, after the objects have been detected, it actually picks one of those particular objects or the bounding boxes and actually does something called super resolution using another network called ESPCN. This is something which is happening inside your cameras, digital still cameras, inside your T TVs inside any kind of uh, frame-based camera processing that you see these days. The second demo that I'll show you basically is trying to highlight um, a pipeline where you have both the vision and the audio frames going side by side. If you see it, look closely at this, what is happening is you have object being detected as part of one network, which is basically person detection. Once the person has been detected in that frame, it does basically what's called pose estimation, which basically means is looking at key points on your body, for example, your eyes, your, your ears, your hands, and your ankles, your knees, what have you. Frame by frame, as it looks at this key point det detection, it basically goes off in this classification. So essentially those key points then you use to figure out whether you're walking, running, or you are, you are falling down or whatever. On the same side, audio frames comes in, and using another AI network called Deep Speech 2, we do basically what's called ASR. So to show you and fast forward, here is a demo showing you a live example where all these three them, uh, AI networks are running concurrently using both vision and audio. So look at this case, the guy falls over, the person gets detected, his, his activity is determined and then followed by his, his voice saying, help 911. The third demo essentially shows what is called uh, ADAS using AI, and you can see in this particular demo, we are showing our vision processor, our vision IP, running in actually a customer board provided by Black Sesame, and that essentially board is showing multiple camera feeds providing you input, and all of these cameras and multiple of these cameras are actually showing you the objects or the, or the um, uh, things around the uh, these cameras. So you can see in this case, for example, you're able to see buildings, you're able to see ca uh, other different cars, stop signs, whatever it is. And all these ca camera feeds essentially goes into a sensor fusion algorithm, at which point essentially the algorithm is running path planning or determining what to do with the car.